Hey everyone, it's Ms. Mack here with another short video. This time, our fourth lesson in our exponents unit. We'll be reviewing all of the exponent rules that we have learned so far. We only have one learning objective for this video. Our learning objective for today is that we can apply the laws of exponents to simplify a single multi-step expression. Let's start by doing a quick rapid fire review of all of the exponent rules we've learned so far. So rule number one, when we multiply powers of the same base, we add the exponents. That means a to the second power times a to the fourth power becomes a to the sixth power. Rule number two, when we divide powers of the same base, we subtract the exponents. That means x to the third divided by x to the second becomes x to the negative fourth. Our third exponent rule says anything raised to the zero power is one. So x to the zero power is just the number one. Rule number four says a negative exponent tells us how many times to divide one by the base. So that means x to the negative fourth from our previous example becomes one divided by x to the positive fourth. We are dividing by x four times. Our fifth exponent rule tells us what to do when we raise a power to a power. In this case, we will multiply our exponents. So that means x to the third power raised to the third power becomes x to the ninth power. Our sixth exponent rule says that when a product or a quotient is raised to a power, both numbers or all numbers inside of the parentheses get raised to that power. So x, to the th x times y to the third becomes x to the third, y to the third. And x divided by y all raised to the third becomes x to the third divided by y to the third. So let's put all of that work together into this really complicated multi-step problem. In this problem, I notice that I have a bunch of stuff going on in the parentheses, but ultimately all of the things inside of my parentheses are being raised to the negative fourth power. Because I see an exponent outside of parentheses, I need to start there. So I'm gonna take negative four and give it away to every exponent already in the problem. Our fifth exponent rule says that when we raise a power to a power, we will multiply our exponents. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply negative four by every exponent that I see there. Before I go any further, I notice that I have c to the zero power. And I know that anything raised to the zero power is one. So I'm going to eliminate that because anything times one is still itself. Anything divided by one is still itself. So we don't need to write one there. The next thing I notice is that I have some negative exponents. And negative exponents are really interesting because when they're in the numerator, they send everything to the denominator. But when they're in the de denominator, they send those terms into the numerator. So I can think of this as each of these in the, the numerator being sent to the denominator and each of these are the negative exponents in the denominator getting sent to the numerator. So basically, I'm going to flip flop the expression that I have here. That means in my numerator, now I have a to the 12 b to the 16th, and c to the 12th. In my denominator, I have a to the 8th and b to the 12th. But I don't have any c's because 
this C was just the whole number one, so it's gone. Now I'm ready to apply my exponent rule that says when I divide powers of the same base, I will subtract my exponents. So I'll continue my work over here. I notice that I have a same base right here. I have a to the 12th power divided by a to the 8th power. So I can subtract my exponents. 12 minus 8 is 4. So now I have a to the 4th power. Then I have my the same base with my b base. So I have b to the 16th power divided by b to the 12th power. 16 minus 4 or minus 12 is 4. So I have b to the 4th power. And finally, there was nothing to divide c to the 12th power by because the other c term canceled out. So I just have c to the 12th power. This is my simplified expression. There's no longer any denominator because all of my exponents were greater in the numerator than in the denominator. So here's my final answer. All right, everyone, I hope that was helpful. If you still have questions, go ahead and watch that video one more time, especially the part where I go through that multi-step problem. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button now. Thanks for watching.